Ladies and gentlemen, NIO swap stations punctuate the highways, enabling effortless battery exchanges every 150 kilometers, transforming EV refueling dynamics. NIO has swap stations placed along the entire route. Every 150 kilometers, you encounter one such swap station. These are largely automated. However, there is a worker who assists in certain difficulties and situations, and this thing is worth trillions of dollars. Because in such highway resting areas, you see gas station chargers or swap stations. So this means that nearly everyone has accepted battery swapping as a major way to replenish power. And so far, this is exclusive to NIO and NIO owners. You know, we have the choice to either charge or swap if we wish. And swapping is very easy, swap and go. And imagine looking towards the future, this is the better solution. Gas stations are according to the EV world, because getting gas is quite easy. Five minutes and your work is done, just five minutes and your work is done. Whereas with charging, you have to charge for anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour. Then if you get stuck in line, or if it takes you three or four hours. And yet, even then, if you have arrangements to charge with people, your output decreases. So it actually only affects your time. And what you're hearing, Many people don't even take EV for long journeys. Those people only use their EV in big cities and not for travel. That's why this will change petrol pumps in the future. EV are equivalent to petrol pumps in the world. And you know, with all those partnerships, this guy. Think about it. A BYD car that can do better. A Geely, Changan, all cars that can do better. A Cherry car that can swap batteries. How weird is that? So, in the future, it will be like gas stations. But you might be thinking, is this bad? Will the government do something about it? That's a very good question. Yes, with this, the thing is, of course, all those partnerships mean that everyone is building these swap stations, not just NIO, but also Geely and Chainin and all these other people. But they're using NIO technology. It's kind of like how there's only one nozzle at a gas pump even if you have different brands of gas stations. And NIO actually has patents for the nozzle. Okay, the analogy is like a gas pump, but there are two big issues there. There's always a bit of good and a bit of bad. And that, indeed, is the kryptonite for swap stations. But there's one fatal issue there. When you're at the swap station, you place an order, but you can't swap. Why? Because that's the swap station's kryptonite. In fact, there are two kryptonites. The first one is snow. Now, obviously, you'll receive a phone call from NIO. They'll tell you that there's too much snow, and the car sensors can't see the charging box. And underneath the car, there's also too much snow and things like that, and all of this needs to be cleared for the battery swap. And folks, you know. What is the other kryptonite? The other kryptonite is, well, I understand that this is a kryptonite for everyone. The swap stations are located on leased land, and there is a certain period for this leased land. So I have been told that it's for a period of 7 to 10 years, and if a contract for at least 7 years is not obtained, they will not install the swap station there. But this also means that after 7 or 10 years, two things can happen. They can either extend the lease further or the rightful owner of the land, whether it's the government or the land itself, without a doubt, owned by the government. But private owners say, hey, we want to increase the rent. You can take it if you want or leave it. This happens everywhere. And unfortunately, it must be said that some swap stations can be opened or decommissioned. I want to say that this is not a permanent fixture. Nothing is permanent in life. Seven to ten years is actually quite a long time, if I'm being honest. And maybe some charging stations have the same duration. So you can't complain about that kind of thing. And yes, but hey, I think there is a swap technician there. And if he helps in swapping your battery, then that's quite good. And when it comes to unmanned or manned refueling in China, gas stations are completely banned. You are not allowed to plug in the gas nozzle yourself to pump gas. Someone always does this for you. Whereas everywhere else in the world, you mostly do this task yourself. And this is mostly for safety reasons as not everyone knows how to use a gas nozzle correctly, and there's a risk of fire and various other things. 
So, you know, sometimes being manned isn't so bad, right? I mean, this is clearly very good. If it were completely unmanned, don't forget that in battery swap stations, you can store batteries with different battery capacities from 75 to 100, then 150 in the future. So anytime you just go there and upgrade your battery, that simple. And you know, just like with other people with other EV, you too can upgrade your battery in the future. So this is some madness. This is some madness. This is a next level. And undoubtedly, on highways, it will eventually replace most gas stations, not so much for charging, but in the future, it's the better equivalent of gas stations in the EV age. And you go and see them taking excellent care of the swap station. Absolutely remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Removing the ice from the car while getting off. Then he'll manually swap it, just like it used to be in Gen 1 swap stations, by reversing into the station. And then he'll click on a few things on the tablet, and the swapping is done. So this is quite amazing. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.